What's happening everyone? Jay Shocklast here and check it out. We are on chapter two, season two of Fortnite. And one of the cool features that comes with the battle pass is the upgrade vault. And the upgrade vault is used for Maya. Now this season, the, the big theme is choices. You have to make choices between all of the characters that you get in the actual battle pass and they're all customizable. In most cases, you're choosing one or the other, but with Maya, for the first time ever, there are choices every week that you can make to customize your Maya. And as you see right here, purchase the Season 2 Battle Pass and visit Maya's Upgrade Vault. Complete Maya challenges each week uh, to be able to upgrade to different parts of her outfit. Preview your upgrade choices and then permanently lock them in as you finish challenges to craft your own unique version of Maya. Now, I already made a choice right here for the hairstyle. There were four choices and I wish I could show you them all now, but I ultimately went with this one. And I kind of thought she looked like uh, Lilith from Borderlands when I had it that way. So uh, that is why I chose that. But as you can see, there are 10 choices that you can make for Maya. Uh, this is how, at the moment, <laughs> I think she's going to end up looking for me. Um, you know, you can choose tattoos, and uh, you can go with no tattoos. Uh, the one that I went with, which is this. Uh, then you have some kind of more black and white. <laughs> and then you have these, which are kind of more of like an islander look. And then just some uh, random tattoos, but... I don't know, I like the psychedelic kind of colorful ones. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna probably go with, or none at all, I don't know, I haven't chosen. I'm not really a big tattoo person. So you can do the standard here, which is default. Uh, you could do basically three quarter sleeves, which is like a baseball shirt. Um, or you can do no sleeves at all. And I kind of like this one the most personally, but it kind of defeats the purpose of the tattoos, so I'll probably gonna go with default. Um, I'm gonna go up to vest first, um, just to turn, turn it off, but there's five choices for vests. You got black, you got this one military, which I think I'm probably gonna choose. Uh, you've got ammo belt, which I also actually kind of like. You've got gray, and then you've got none at all, which is also a very big possibility for me. I skipped over to there because uh, we're coming up on uh, shirt color. Uh, for boots, I don't really know what I'm going to do. Um, there's default black. There's kind of like a grayish color. Uh, there's these ones, which are a little too wild for me. <laughs> and then you have uh, the green. So I'm leaving them black for now. There's 16 shirt colors, all right? Um, and this is what I'm really having the hardest time with. I I cannot decide which shirt color I wanna go with. Uh, you have dark, which is full, uh, green, full, which I'm kind of on right now, uh, gray, uh, you have urban camo, jungle camo, which that's just a little bit too much for me personally. Um, Arctic camo, which I really like, but for some reason doesn't go with everything else. Uh, brown camo. Default. Dark. Green. I kind of like this one too, but with the vest, there's really no point. Uh, gray, which is also not bad. I just like a little bit more color. I mean, this one's okay-ish. And then this is the absolute default one. You know, we're gonna try something different here. We're gonna leave it like this. I kinda like that Arctic camo. All right, so I looked at vest. Uh, now you have helmet. Now I like the hairstyle kind of, uh, mostly. So I kinda wanna leave it, but there's also you have that helmet. You got one with the shades. You got this uh, military style hat the bucket hat and then the dark hat. I like the dark hat too, but I actually, if I'm being honest, kind of like her with no hat at all. 
Um, then you have pants color. This is the jungle. All right, let's start here. These are the default. Then you have brown camo, arctic camo, jungle camo, urban camo, gray, and green, and dark. We're gonna leave them dark for now because I just want to see how that looks. It's okay. Uh, there's face paint, which I am definitely not gonna use personally. Um, but this, you can see that she has makeup on. Uh, war paint, war paint, dirt. But I'm not gonna use any anything. I just like it plain. And then scarf. I love the scarf. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. You, know, you can have it with no scarf, but I love the scarf. And there's all these different colors. I am absolutely choosing red. There's no doubt about it. That's why I chose the hair the way it is. Um, there are also, you know, some some cool looks. I love the scarf personally. So, you know, I'm sure there's other colors that go with red, but red's non. Oh, there's a custom color. All right. Um, oh, that's interesting. You can actually customize your color. Interesting. Oh, I like that. I like that even more. So now I have a custom color. That's cool. So you have to complete all nine challenges in Maya's challenges to unlock this. Um, it really doesn't matter how I leave it for now, but uh, this is how I think it could end up looking for me. So this is just a feature of the battle pass. And of course, as always, um, you know, if you don't mind using creator code JShockBlast, that would be fantastic. Uh, what are some of the things that you're looking forward to as part of building your own Maya? And uh, what choices are you going to make? The challenges were pretty easy, so I think everybody should be able to attain these. I'm actually done with all the challenges so far. <laughs> so uh, there you go. Uh, Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 2 is here. Create a code J Shock Blast. I appreciate y'all. We'll see ya.